start the next recording again. So this is what I've just did. It's really a very simple earth meditation, just cleansing by earth. And you can feel, I hope you can feel the, the difference that it makes. It energizes you and it balances you as well. So this is really earth meditation and the, you would use it when you really need balancing and more energy. So this is what I recommend. Um, let's see. So these are really the, um, the, the, the three methods that I want to cover is cleansing by water, cleansing by fire, and cleansing by earth. These are three fairly simple ways. The, um, the cleansing by water is something you can do each time you take a bath and cleansing by fire whenever you feel you need the the fire element and also cleansing by earth. So those are things that are fairly easy to do because the uh, the cleansing by earth, it only took maybe about like less than 10 minutes and you already feel a difference in your body. These are little things that you can do just to clean your own energy. Now I've kind of covered a few methods about um, cleansing your own energy. And I want to cover more about how about clearing the energy of your environment. So whether it is in your own home or whether it is, let's say, in a um, in your own in the office. If you don't work from home, then it's an outside office. There's a difference between cleaning your own home versus cleaning the office, meaning because your own home is really your domain and your energy signature is much stronger there so that means you have more freedom and you have more um, authority in what you will allow or will not allow in your own home you have more control so when you're in your own home you can there's more you can do and um so things that you can do is really how to clean the energy is you can put crystals in there. You can put shungite, which are um, a particular kind of um, energy cleaning um, uh, crystal that you can you can get. And the, the bigger ones will be it's pretty good to keep your environment in your own home to be clean and clear, um, there are certain crystals that really don't need cleansing. Um, kyanite is a self-cleansing kind of crystal. So kyanite is highly recommended. And also shungite is um, it's more of a balancing energy, especially if there, you want to counteract radiation, then shungite is a, a pretty good um, crystal to use. So those are, you can put crystals around your, your own home. And also, um, is, it's not just using crystal. Because it's your own home, you can actually get a little bit more fancy. I remember at one point, I actually have um, like six or seven crystals that's placed in a certain formation in sacred geometry underneath my own bed and I do feel a difference when I sleep in that environment is that because um, it's sacred geometry and it's anchored in and energized by the, the crystals. So you really have to, um, I would say, feel the difference between what kind of sacred geometry do you, that really you want to set up for your own use and it depends on whether it's uh, in the place of your sleeping quarters, underneath your own bed, you may want to find something, have a particular uh, formation that is more calming. Whereas if it is in a, let's say your um, exercise area or living room area, you can choose a particular um, pattern that is more energizing. So usually I would say, um, 
right underneath my bed though i i do the um i do the um, like two triangles um pointing in different direction i use that so it's kind of like the macabre i use that one and um for more I would say for more energizing is usually triangles are quite energizing. It's like just one triangle is more energizing. So this is something that you can use and set up your own place. And also using certain herbs. Um, for example, using when you are using, there are particular herbs that's really very cleansing. Um, sage is one of the more common ones to use. So, and actually is any kind of, I would say wood, um, like scented wood, for example, sandalwood, any kind of scented wood that you like, you can use. Whatever it is that makes you feel I would say that resonates with you. I like the smell of sage. Um, sage is usually for cleansing and sandalwood and or other kinds of, of, of scents is for different purposes. So uh, if you're using it specifically to clean the, the, the energy, then sage would be um, like a cool, very easy one to just use. Just burn some sage and just go around the, the room and with intention. You have to go around the room with intention to surround the room in white light. And do use one room at a time. Just do one room at a time. Use the sage, which is using a scent. And also with intention is to clear up any energy that does not support you and your family members. And just go through the whole house room by room with the same intention. The idea is to go from the bottom of the house. If you uh, are living in a multi-level um, house, from the bottom of the, the house, go to the top, go into the rooms, and then the last one would be the just the space before the the front door the, the main entrance so that you're clearing the energy out through the door so that's the idea and if you don't have that if you want to clear a place and you just don't happen to have any sage um, at hand then you can actually just use the you can use the infinity sign so i would highly suggest that you before you even if you use sage is to just make sure that you yourself is in a um, high vibration state so you can do that by doing some meditation to to kind of in, increase your own frequency first or just set an intention and just say five million, five million, and you know, wait until you can you actually feel yourself vibrating at a higher energy level. Then what you can do is use your your hands, like you can use both hands side by side and just draw the infinity figure. And you just go through the room with the infinity figure. The infinity figure will actually clear the energy in the space as well. And also with intention is to send love and light to each of the rooms. And the same thing, the same thing is to go from the, um, like from the, if you're in one, just one floor, then go from the back of back as in the place that's furthest away from the front door and then just work your way until you get to the, the front door and then just pushes the energy out. Same thing if you are in the multi-level is to go from the, the bottom and then work your way up and then back into um, the space that's 
closest to the front door and then just with intention send out any energy that does not support you and your family members so that is a very simple way to clear the energy of your your own home and when you're clearing a space that is outside of your own home then then it's a little different um, some of the basic is the same you still have to make sure that you're to do your own frequency is high and then you also set the intention the intention the intention is because it's not your own home so um you can't really it's it's not just about you so you have to set the intention is you just want to ask for permission for the um, the space to support whatever it is that you're doing in that space and of course whatever you're doing in, in that space that uh, is uh, assuming that you're not like, doing anything harmful to other people or to the space unless you're there for a demolition then that's different so then that is to just set the intention that it's a win-win situation you're doing all of this in peace and love and you just want to um, ask for permission to change the energy of the space so that it will support whatever activity it is that you are in there let's say if you're going there for a wedding or if you're going there for um, an, a workshop then you want to set the intention to to do that and you don't because when you are in that in the space though there there are most likely other people around so you don't want to be not necessarily um, going around you know burning sage or doing the figure eight or infinity that's a little oh, unless you feel comfortable doing that then go right ahead however when you're doing a space that's not in your own home you just have to set the intention and just in your mind's eye just have the vision that you're going around the four corners of the this area whatever the space that you're in to clear using figure eight just in your mind's eye just um, imagine the figure eight that you are doing that with intention to clear the space so that this space support whatever it is that you are doing there temporarily and then um, that is how to do how to clear a space that is outside of your own home and a lot of the times it's really you don't have a lot of control over it that's if it's something like a you know a um, um, business area a restaurant or um, let's say a church or that then you can do that and alternatively the other thing is let's say um, like I would use I would use this alternative if I'm going to a hospital because in the hospital the environment is the there's so much much um, I would say um, unsupportive energy within the hospital most of the time that is the case so when I'm walking into that it's really going to um, take a lot of energy to clear that kind of space so what you want to do is surround yourself in white light just see yourself being held in a cocoon of brilliant white light before you walk into a space like that and also process like if you're going to hospital you may be visiting a friend or loved ones then process your own emotions because when you are emotionally vulnerable um, your protection may not work as well. So you just process your own emotion before you actually go to that space. And then when you are not emotionally vulnerable, um, then it's actually much easier for you to do that. I know sometimes in, if it's like close family or good friends, it may not be easy to, to be emotionally um, detached. Or not as triggered when you visit these places 
in that case, then you may need to, you know, just do what you know you need to do. Go there, visit your friend, and then when you get home, then you can you can just use the other methods to clean, like just um, cleansing by water, fire, or or cleansing by earth to clear yourself out. However, if you are in a position to process your own emotions and be able to just walk into and, and surround yourself in white light, then um, you can walk into a more, I would say, hostile environment, like somewhere in the hospital. Um, in terms of uh, energetically, it's not as uh, supportive. So that's what I would do. Um, the, it, a little bit different methods depending on the space that you're going into. However, the, um, the, the, all the basics you still need to do is ground yourself, raise your own vibration, and then um, intention, set intention. is Set intention to just clear the space. And, and if you want to do the infinity sign in your own mind's eye or um, actually use it, and then that's either way will work as well. So now um, the third area I want to touch on is really clearing um, energy cords. So what do I mean by energy cords? Every time we think of somebody, we actually, it's a thought form. So actually it links you, let's say if I think about my son who is in Japan right now, then I, every time I think about him, every time I receive a text or um, like a, a WhatsApp, he, he would send me photos or text me something that he did that day. So every time you receive any kind of information, um, whether it is a text or just thinking of, about a person, you actually have, you created an energy cord. So it's just an energy link between you and the person or the um, or if you're thinking about an institution, let's say government or just certain part of the, um, let's say um, uh, if you're going to um, get your driver's license renewal, then, then you and the, the, just that department of the government. So every time you think of something, you link yourself and whatever the object, person or event yeah, it is there you set up an energy link and we um we don't really take care of that we don't even think twice of it that we have all these connections throughout the day imagine every time you think of somebody you already um it's it's already a link and then sometimes when you think of that person, it is a, let's say you on good terms with that person, then it's a good energy. But however, sometimes you may be upset with that person temporarily. Then even though most of the time the energy is good, but there'll be, uh, at times, there'll be some convoluted energies that's in there. And if you do not um, take care of energy links or energy cords between you and that person, then over time, the, the energetic linkage between you and that person becomes very convoluted. And especially with family members or close friends, because there'll be good times, then there will be bad times. And it's, it's just the nature of relationships. There's always, there, there'll be some times when you are upset with them or when you are just having a bad day and because that person is just there, so they get the brunt of your, your um, emotions. So over time, it really affects your relationship with that person. So a good way to clean up the energy so that you, you can intentionally create the relationship between you and that person to be clean and clear and really intentionally in a loving relationship then the best thing to do is to cut energy cords 
with them. Cut energy cords, cut all energy cords with them. You may want to do this um, once a week or at least once a month to do that. Because when you clear up all the convoluted energy between you and um, your loved ones, then you can actually be completely um, creating the new relationship very intentionally to be positive or however it is that you want it to be. So this is part of being a creating conscious relationship is to just uh, clean up energies that you have created, energy links that you have created that is that you've created that maybe is not what you really intended to be. It can be just something that is just you're just triggered. And then so you create a discord. So so when you actually cut all the energy cords between you and that person and then intentionally create an energy link between you and that person again, which is clean, clear and exactly what you want it to be. And it actually, you would notice your exchange with that person would be completely different. So how do you do that? How do you clean up the energy? So let's do another process. Um, it, it's another quick one, which is, um, I'm gonna stop the recording and have this 